Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm not going to be looking at Bitcoin and I'm actually going to be taking a look at an altcoin today. An altcoin that has been on my radar for a very long time, obviously been trading it for you know, quite a while now. And um, it's one that I trade for the longer term swing trade. So I don't really day trade it uh, very often, but I like to swing trade this for, for the long term. Uh, three, you know, three guesses what it is. One, two, three, done. It's Tezos. Uh, so today I'm going to be going through Tezos, um, you know, just for your, you know, so you're aware of this, I suppose. I currently do hold a long already on Tezos, but what I'm going to be going through today is a, essentially a new setup, but just so you are aware, obviously, trading this one over on Bybit against USDT Tether and entry around 260. So I'm in pretty healthy profits on it already, but you know, that's just something to be aware of, I suppose, before we go into this. Uh, I do hold a position on this already. Well, with that said, let's go into Tezos. So I'm going to look at it first against BTC. Uh, as you kind of know, if you're at least if you're a member, I, I always would do my analysis first on the BTC pair, even though I'm only trading against Tether on Bybit. You know, I still like to do this this initial bit of analysis. Uh, I've already got it pre-prepared here, so I can just show you what I've got going on, you know, to give you an idea of, of what I'm working with. Um, obviously, Tezos is, is one of these coins that when you come out on a high term time frame, it really is, you know, pretty destroyed. We're talking about from the all time high, uh, you know, it dropped 85 percent. We're currently sitting from all time high down 80 percent. Um, you know, so obviously it's, it's a coin which is very, you know, let's say, uh, you know, very sold off. Can it drop lower? Of course it can. It can go to zero. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're going to be waiting for it to go to zero. There's still opportunities on its way to zero, let's say. Uh, so with that said, of course, uh, am I a fundamental trader? No, you know, I don't care about the fundamentals of this coin. I literally couldn't, it doesn't bother me. Uh, have I traded this coin well when I've cared nothing about the fundamentals? And the answer is yes. Uh, it's actually respected the technical analysis very well. Uh, this is the channel that we've always been trading from. It's really important for, you know, that weekly was pretty nice when we obviously got that decline sorry, rise uh, towards, you know, the start, middle of May, uh, where we had a really, really, really strong increase. Obviously, uh, you know, it depends how, how long you've been following us on this one, but obviously Tezos had the original first rise, you know, it kind of swing failure pattern the highs and made its way down to that CC. And then from that CC, a, you know, crazy big increase in price, 60%, in a relatively quick amount of time. So 60% increase coming back up into that weekly um, with the top of the channel again as resistance. So, you know, naturally it is a big resistance, bit of a fake out, we could say, above the high, uh, but ultimately back testing, back testing really confirmed the resistance. And, and we got this breakdown back coming, to, coming into the middle of the channel. You can see now we're edging back down towards the low of the channel. Uh, so if we zoom in on a lower term time frame, we haven't quite hit the low of the channel. Uh, you know, to hit the low of the channels, we'd be talking about another, you know, three, four percent move to the downside. OK, but again, you don't have to expect this to be picture perfect, just as we can see, you know, up at the highs. This was a, you know, this was a strong deviation from the high in terms of percentage. You know, we're talking about 15 percent. So it moved 15 percent outside of the channel. But again, we're talking about swing trades. We're talking about such a high term time frame. It's kind of irrelevant. You know, even if we saw a 15 percent weight to the downside, you know, it's you know, it's not going to be, for me anyway, it's not like invalidating anything. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not shaking me out of any positions. It's just like, okay, yeah, there's a deviation. You know, it's just part of, it's just part of trading. You have to expect, um, you know, deviations. Uh, so yeah, we got about 4% down to the bottom of the channel. Uh, if we lose this channel, which again is totally possible, if we lose the channel, then, you know, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be, you know, just another opportunity, another trade setup. And for me, it would be back down on that weekly. And just for perspective, that weekly on the BTC pair brings us down about another 20-ish percent. And that would obviously bring us back down to major, you know, let's just say the last levels of support, really. So, you know, this weekly is going to be very, very, very important level. But for me, you know, the trade currently is, is trading it basically off of the um, you know the bottom of this channel. So give or take 5%. Um, you know, we, we are, you know, we're at the bottom of that channel. And for me, this is, you know, an interesting place um, to look to want to buy this again. You know, if I've already traded this channel twice or well, then third time, let's see how it goes. So, yeah, for me, 
you have to bear in mind that I am trading it against Tether. So I know that the BCC pair has to now finally come back down to support. So if we take a look at then the Tether pair, obviously I'm trading this on Bybit. You know, what do we have going on here on the Bybit pair? Well, you know, we got arguably a little bit less. So you know, in terms of really clearly defined support. Uh, recently, obviously, again, this one was a similar sort of, you know, similar sort of trade or in the end where it, you know, come up and took the highs, uh, you know, again, at the middle to the end, end middle to the start of May. Uh, so simultaneously, while on the Bitcoin pair, you were rejecting the top of the channel, the USDT tether pair, was obviously also rejecting around its old previous highs. This in the end making a decline of about 70% in, um, you know, 17 days. So a really big decline, a very fast decline. Obviously, Bitcoin fueling that to the downside. Um, but, you know, Bitcoin weakness, uh, you know, obviously Bitcoin itself saw its big decline. And with, you know, Tezos against Bitcoin also declining, of course, this tether pair is going to get destroyed and destroyed it got. This is why you got to take profits. Yeah, you, know, you got to take profits on the rises and not just hold it forever and hope for the best. Um, you know, then you can take profits at, at resistance. And then when it drops like it, you know, like it has done over the past few weeks, then you can look to, you know, let's say you have $100 in Tezos. You know, it hits a big resistance. Remember, it was re taking resistance on the Tether pair. Bitcoin was at resistance. And simultaneously, the Bitcoin pair is at resistance. You know, I I'd be, be thinking to myself, well, I want to lock in profits here. So let's say I'm in a $100, um, you know, just for an example, I'm in a $100 Tezos long. And, you know, when we're reaching such resistances, and, you know, this is obviously referring to Tezos reaching around $8. You know, you might be thinking to yourself, well, I want to take $80 of profit. So 80% profit. Yeah. And, you know, we see there's declines across the board on the assets. And now you're reaching an hour, another time where I arguably think, OK, it's back down at support, you know. So that 80, you know, $100 position started, take $100 position started, take $80 profit. And now when you're coming back down to areas of support, you can say, OK, I'll, I'll add back on, you know, $40 here. So giving me a, a, a total position of $60. And then with the remaining capital, I could add it on on, on, on a position of strength. OK, e.g. reclaiming some of these big weekly resistances, add on the next 40 and, and go back to my original starting position with a much better, you know, average entry now or, you know, wait for a, a further decline, which I, I feel is, is of course, is absolutely possible here. And then I'll add in my $40 lower down, for example, you know, to give me a better lower entry. And if that's the case, I'll be looking to add it down, back, back down, back around that lower weekly, uh, you know, judging off the, the Bitcoin pair. Uh, that would similar, you know, that would could, could bring us down to around the two dollar mark on the, you know, on on on, um, on the, the tether pair. To see this, you would have to see the Tezos Bitcoin pair breaking down and Bitcoin breaking down to reach two dollars again on Tezos. But um, you know, I'm not necessarily, I'm not really uh, overly bearish, I suppose, on Bitcoin at the moment. It's just range bound. So um, you know, it's just something to bear in mind that to see that two dollars on Tesla, you are going to have to see Bitcoin break down. Uh, but currently, yeah, the the, 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 the I mean the the the, te the tether pair really is in. Um, yeah, let's be honest here. You know, I, I I'd love to tell you it's going up, but it's like you know, at the end of the day, this is this is not something that is shouting and screaming to me like this is really bullish. You know, so you know the 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 way that I'm viewing this is. Yes, the Bitcoin pair is reaching support of the channel, but the, the, this Tether pair really is not primed. You know, I think at the very least, we'd like to see it come back now, back above that weekly. Yeah? Get this little bit of the market structure change, reclaim that weekly. It would at least be step number one. Okay, It would be at least... At the very least, step number one of this. But we've still got coming in, yeah, we still got that $4 resistance. So I think the tether pair, of course, this is going to mimic Bitcoin almost. So we kind of got this, you know, highs coming in at around the $4, where we could say the low is all the way, you know, all the way back down around $2.40. So, you know, you can look to trade this ultimately as a range. I don't think the tether pair is that exciting. It's a little bit like... Um, Let's just be honest. It's it's not really an amazing. There's no amazing setup here on on the on the on the tether pair. I suppose ultimately we'd like to see a bit more of a drop on the tether pair, but that's going to be influenced by how this Bitcoin pair goes because obviously they're totally correlated. So um, yeah, for for me it's just bringing you perspective in this video of how we look at opportunities. And for me this is an opportunity. 
Uh, and of course, I cannot give financial advice and I don't really want to tell you exactly how I'm trading, trading this. But, I, I, you know, because I, I obviously can't because of the legal stuff. But it's kind of like, you know, for me, this is a good opportunity. Uh, you know, for me, this is a place that I would look to get involved um you know and it, this is obviously going off of the bitcoin pair holding this channel if we lose the channel hey it's absolutely fine and then i would personally be looking down towards the weekly but while this channel holds you know we can trade it as the upward sloping channel that it is again we can expect deviations that's absolutely fine and acceptable uh, but this is still obviously a support zone if this you know if this zone is lost we start really do losing the channel then we can expect to move down to the weekly simply put uh, that on the tether pair again where i am actually trading this on, on on tether uh would bring us back down towards you know start to bring us back down towards the week which is obviously a really big support level um yeah so yeah there you go that that was my initial thoughts here on on tezos uh how one can approach tezos here uh why you need to look at the tether pair or simultaneously of course looking at the bitcoin pair and simultaneously looking at the bit you know bitcoin itself because all of these are influencing what the tether pair does um you know is, is it the easiest thing in the world to trade alts you know i think a lot of people don't realize actually how kind of complex altcoin trading is but that's for another story uh for for this one yeah i feel Bitcoin pair is at support. This is a region to uh, of interest for myself. Let's just say that. And the tether pair, though, of course, this tether pair is definitely not as interesting. It's definitely not as bullish looking as as that pair. And you know, if we are to see the the channel lost on the Bitcoin pair, I would foresee this heading down towards two dollars. If we maintain that channel on the bitcoin pair well the tether pair is going to have to start to reclaim this weekly and if that's the case we're going to be looking back up to the range high which is four dollars naturally another take profit and the big 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 weekly to reclaim is that four dollars fifty we can reclaim back this i'm going to be looking back up to around that seven dollars again so you know you have to take this in you know perspective that would still be a rise of around 118 percent but of course, before we start getting too obsessed with 118% gains, it has got steps to get above. You know, there's a lot of resistance above us locally. But if we can start to reclaim that, hey, I'm going to be very happy. Let's just say that. Uh, of course, ladies and gentlemen, I have to stress no financial advice in the video. You know, I cannot be telling you exactly what to do. Uh, you know, of course, there's legal stuff. Then I'm not a financial advisor at the end of the day. And, um, you know, just understand that legal disclaimer uh, that runs on every single one of the videos we ever make and will make into the future so uh yeah make sure you understand that if you've enjoyed this analysis a bit different than normal uh hey give a like to the video drop some feedback down below constructive criticism or just hey i like this video let me know if you liked it then uh, hey I'll, I'll do some more if you didn't then i'll stick to bitcoin i suppose it's just that bitcoin right now is not it's not that interesting let's say it's, it's not really doing much so um there's not really too much to talk about i mean you have a few different sculpt trades here and there but there, there's nothing major happening on bitcoin right now where somebody else i think are starting to anyway become a bit more interesting for, for myself anyway um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this analysis let me know what you think and um uh, yeah i actually do have a members live stream tonight we obviously had the contenders live stream last night which had really really good feedback uh, that was obviously going over uh, the single prints on the TPO charts. Um, and I have another, I'm going to do another members live stream actually, you know, maybe in like one hour, maybe you know, a few hours in, later this evening, I'm going to do another members update going through Bitcoin and some question and answers. So, you know, if you're interested in that, I'm going to do that for the contenders and the champions a bit later on this evening. So cheers, everybody. Have a good day. Thank you. And goodbye. Cheers.